personality is important, especially for the first impressions. Big smile and an optimistic personality can take you a long way in everyday life. From school to career, personality is an important factor for tomorrow's success. Today's guest will talk about her personality and how it has helped her in her academics and how it could help her in future career of mass communications. The Humanities Mass Communications Department at Norwalk Community College presents the new directors, the shows that introduced you to television future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, Brennan Hickey, to meet the next new director, Monica Santa Maria. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of the new directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you're about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct three different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves, the productions they are planning, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is an NCC student in the, in the film and TV production course and who has remained genuine to her own persona. She has used it to get her advantage to succeed in her academics and towards her to her future career. Not only has she the charisma, but the drive to accomplish her goal on majoring in mass communications. We would like you to meet today's guest, Monica Santa Maria. Hi, Monica. Hello. How can you describe the personality you had when you were younger? Um, I've always been very cheerful, very outgoing, very much, you know, not so much the center of attention, but very bubbly personality. And um, it has helped me, you know, gaining more of an outgoing personality, which will help me in my life and in my career. Um, I also was very um, friendly and talkative, which I still carry on today because I still talk. And I remember growing up, my mom would get phone calls saying, you know, Miss Anna Maria, your, your daughter is too talking, you know, talks too, too much. And she would even talk during story time and nap time. So I guess I kind of have that talkative personality. So I live up to being a social butterfly. Cool. Could you tell us why you decided to take the TV production course? Um, I decided this was for me. I took a, um, a career test on whether or not which one to focus on. At first I wanted to be a pediatrician and then later I kind of was focusing on being, becoming a social worker. Um, based on the test that I took, I was more for the mass communications um, department. So I kind of focus more on that since most of the qualities that I have would benefit from my future career. What are some of the most useful things you've learned in the course, in the TV course? Um, I learned how to operate a video camera. I also learned to use Avid in editing our videos that we had in class and for the projects that we needed to complete the semester. Um, we also learned the TV production, how to run it, how to be on Set, how to do the behind the scenes that no one else gets to see, such as the audio and um, running the clips and the titles. Just the whole thing was a very good learning experience. That's good. Cool. Tell us about the productions you created for the TV One class. The Learning Project, the Action Sequence, the New England Seasonal Project, and your Orange Project. Um, for my learning, I got to partner up with Diane. Um, she was very fun and outgoing, as much as I am too, so we kind of clicked, which was um, extra good about working on it together. Um, I got to explore the, how to use a camera, doing close-ups, doing long shots, everything. It was very difficult at first since we couldn't really, you know, really navigate through that whole assignment without kind of referring to the whole layout that Professor Stoney had given us. Um, so it was really fun. And then in our action sequence, um, I sketched out a storyboard of specific scenes which I was going to film. Um, my story was about how to get a drink from the water fountain. I did a lot of close-ups, you know, so you can kind of get the idea of what it's like to do getting a water from the water fountain. Um, 
Then for our winter project, I filmed it at our local beach. Um, it was at Calf Pasture. I was able to do close-ups, zoom outs, and continuous zooms. Along with the video editing, I was able to add music to help portray the feeling that I wanted it to be, which was kind of like a relaxing, you know, winter at the beach type of a feeling. So that was a lot of fun. Um, editing was very hard for me for that project because I had to find certain clips that didn't destroy the other clips that I had recorded. Um, for my orange, my mom was my main actor. It was fun doing this late at night. I directed her to do what was needed for each scene. Um, she was a great help to our story about the random orange that she finds in her wine bag. Um, she then decides to take it and make it into a fruit salad, but when she turns to look at it, the orange goes missing. So it's very, it's kind of like a short clip, but it was very fun to do. Cool. Now I know you had one project that you felt was your best. Tell us about it while we watch a sample of the video with the music you selected. I chose my action sequence as my best project because I feel that it was well planned out, well thought out, and it also had, you know, everything that I had planned to do. I had all the required elements that was needed to accomplish this action sequence. So I feel like that was my best project overall. You mentioned the variety of things you have learned in this course. What was the most interesting and important skill you learned and how you put it to use? Um, I learned how to use the whole TV production and the editing, which is good because they'll help me finish the production courses that I have to take here at NCC before I do my transfer. I also hope to get an internship someday, um, you know, while I'm still in school, probably for a short term, and then help me get into the real work for my career. Um, it also inspired me to actually practice and do more of my own videos just for fun at home. So that's another good thing that I'll get more hands-on, more practice, more exposure, and hopefully I'll improve in that as a skill. Um, I also would like to see this as a future career, um, maybe having my own television show, working with some of the best people out there to entertain, to inform our society. Very cool. Today we got to meet someone who shared with us a bit about herself and her TV production projects she created throughout the semester. She also plans to use the new knowledge to expand in TV production as a future career. We would like to thank Monica for joining us today. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you and have a good day. This has been The New Directors with your host, Brendan Hickey, directed by Kareem. I'm your announcer, Mark Sugden. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.